Hello everyone and again welcome to the channel. My name is Janae and as you can see I have an untubing to do. Now there's a bit of a backstory for this. I am in Diamond Painting Underground Facebook group and there was a Christmas exchange that was done. So this is coming from my exchange partner. Now the person that I had in the exchange had received her gift on Friday or package I should say on Friday and I received mine today December 2nd now these all came from Evermoment and basically what it was is we were to go onto Evermoment's site pick out some paintings that we would like to have and put them in our wish list on I believe it's called elf but I could be wrong so if I'm wrong I do apologize um, and the person that is your partner would go on your wish list pick out a painting for you and then have it shipped to you so this is mine and I haven't opened it but we're going to open it tonight so let's get this package open and take a look and see what's inside. So here we go. I hope everyone had a really spectacular day today. It was really cold here today in Winnipeg, but thank God we did not get the snow that they had expected over the week. So now we're just in the really bitter, bitter cold. So this is definitely an ever moment packaging. So one thing I do like about ever moment is they know how to package their product. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right. There we go. So the package came out really well. The ends, normally when I get these, they're cracked and not doing so hot, but both ends look really good and their traditional bow. I love this bow. So let's see what this says. Really doesn't give me much information. It just says it's a 40 by 55 centimeter colors 36. So let's take a look. Oops. Boy, it's on. <laughs> it's not coming off. Wow, is that ever on? I don't think they wanted me to open this. <laughs> there we go. So here's their toolkit. Comes with a white tray with a spout. Looks like a couple of plates, a couple of plates of wax, a basic pink pen with a three placer, and looks possibly like a six placer. A pair of tweezers. A um, couple of comfort grips. They have a really nice toolkit. I do like their toolkits. It also comes with some washi tape. I love their Ziploc bags. They have the nicest Ziploc bags. So it comes with those. Okay, let's see. Here are the colors. A couple of bags of colors. Ooh, those are really, really bright colors. Ooh, nice. Really pretty, bright colors. And the canvas. All right, 
<laughs> this thing does not want me in there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the drills off to the side. And the tool kit. And let's take a look at this canvas. Wow, their canvas has changed a bit. It's a lot softer. It's not as stiff. Usually it's pretty stiff, but this is not that stiff. Good. So they have their legend on the right hand side, right in the center. Legend is very clear, so I'm just going to bring this up to you so you can take a look. So there you go. It's very clear. Okay. And as I said, their canvas seems to be a lot softer. It's not um, as stiff as um, I had gotten in the past. And uh, I have, I have a lot of ever moment paintings, so this is different. It feels different. There's no fraying um, at all. So I really like the changes in their canvas. And this is, again, a 40 by 55 centimeters, 35 colors. Looks like it's trying to lift up a little bit right there. So I'm just going to rub it. Okay, I'm just going to move the camera up so you can see me uh, undo this here. Get a little bit more space. Nope, I want to go back. There we go. All right. So those of you that are new to diamond painting, the way you would want to straighten out your canvas for a double-sided adhesive canvas is you can either lay it out like this and put some books on top of it and that will help flatten out the canvas. Or you can pull up the protective sheet about at the halfway mark and then put it down, back down and that will also flatten out your canvas. One thing I'm going to say about Evermoment right now, they have made some changes. This canvas is not the same canvas that I've gotten before. The canvas is actually pretty flat. I don't have to do a whole lot to it, which is really nice. But by saying that, though, I want to see what this canvas looks like because I have absolutely no idea what my um, Christmas exchange partner sent to me. So let's just take a quick peek. Now Ever Moment is um, one of my favorite stores on AliExpress. It's, and as far as my custom paintings, I always go through Ever Moment. I have gone through Hulican a couple of times, but I really, really like Ever Moment. Okay, so there's part of it. Uh oh, yeah. Adhesive is coming up. So, to if you run into a an issue where when you're starting to pull up your protective sheet and your adhesive is coming with that protective sheet, what you want to do is put it back down, take your thumb or a um, couple of fingers, whichever is more comfortable to you, and then rub and press as hard as you can. What you're trying to do is create some friction and some heat in there, and then once you've done that, you're going to press and then now you should be able to pull this up without any issue. So there you go. 
So anytime your adhesive starts to pull away from your canvas, that's what you're going to want to do. And yeah, it, see it's starting to, it started to pull up there as well. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of um, fixing, I think. up here because I have absolutely no idea what this is. <laughs> so we're just going to pull this a little bit farther. It looks like an ocean sunset almost, which wouldn't surprise me because I love um, ocean sunset or anything ocean view. Oh yeah, this is um, an ocean view. So I don't want to take that all the way off. This is going to be pretty. Lots of beautiful colors. So I'm going to bring it around so that you guys can see it. But, oh wow, that is going to be gorgeous. That is going to be gorgeous. Look at that. I'm a big, I love the ocean, love it. And um, this is beautiful. So whoever picked this out did an, a great job picking this out. This is gorgeous. Love the colors. So from what I'm seeing right now, there is no, oops, there's no rivers. There's little air bubble right there but nothing major and since I seen that I'm going to go ahead and fix that um, what was it it's right here so sometimes with double-sided adhesive, you can get some air bubbles. And all you need to do is take an X-Acto knife and scratch at it to pop the air and it releases the air and that's all you need to do. And let's see if I see any more. Okay, so this side looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this around just so I can see the other side. Okay. I don't see anything here, so that's good. So we're just going to put this back down. The only thing that worried me was right in here, so I'm just going to rub this because when I was pulling up the sheets, the adhesive was starting to pull up with it. So we're just going to go ahead and rub this again, and then we're just going to hold it down, and it should, like I said, it should keep it and stick it into that canvas. That is the only downfall with double-sided adhesive, so yeah, that that did the trick. I kind of got spoiled with um, poured glue, so it's like, oh. Okay, so same thing. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna watch that corner, and I can already tell the adhesive is starting to pull up. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Rub. And hold down. Okay, and then we're just going to gently pull that up, and the adhesive is down. And just look at the section that I didn't pull up, 
and look at. So that looks good. And now we're just going to turn this around and do this side. And again, it's pulling up, so we're just going to go ahead and rub. Okay. And pull this up. And the adhesive stayed down. Good. Oops. There is a little bit of rivering. So because I see that, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of it now, but it's just right in here. It's, it's minor, it's not very bad, but because um, there is a river there, I want to make sure I get that river out. before we start placing the drills. You never want to leave a river or an air bubble in your adhesive. The problem with that is, is it will not allow your drills to lay proper and you'll eventually end up with drills that are trying to pop up off of the, off of the uh, canvas itself. So when you see that you've got this problem Try to fix it immediately. That way you don't have to remember, especially if you're going to um, store your, your paintings. Like this painting I probably won't get to quickly and I want to make sure that I take care of those problems now. So after you scorch it with your um, X-Acto knife, you're going to want to rub it just like I'm doing right here. That's going to help get rid of all of that air that might have been trapped in that river. And then we're just going to take a quick look and see how it looks now. It's right here and it looks good. It looks pretty good. Just going to give it a little bit more rub. And there it is. You can't even tell that I've scorched it, so it looks really, really good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the drills. So we're going to actually flip this upside down. Boy, their canvas feels different. I don't know what it is, but their canvas feels different. Okay, so this is bag two, and this is bag one. Now, if you're new to diamond painting, one thing that I'm going to recommend to you is that you do your inventory immediately. The reason for that is, is most of your products that you purchase off of AliExpress, they are buyer protected. However, you only have a few days. So some stores may provide you with 10 days. Some stores may only provide you with 14 days. It all depends on the store. So when you receive your product, make sure you do your inventory. Check your canvas out, check your drills out, make sure you have everything that you're supposed to have with your diamond painting. So most diamond paintings always include three items, your canvas, your drills, and your toolkit. So we know we've got the toolkit, obviously we have the canvas, so now we're going to check the drills, make sure they're all here, and what they say we should have. So that's what this inventory sheet is for. It has been uh, checked by two people, so we're just going to double check and make sure everything is here. So we're going to go through bag one first. I have to say I really do like the way um, Evermoment packages their product. I, it's just, <clears throat> it's a lot easier than some of the stores that, that you uh, get diamond paintings from from AliExpress. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly go through all of these colors. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the camera, insert some music, enjoy, sit back, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, everyone, all the colors have been accounted for. Everything's been checked off. And now we're just going to, oops, knock over things. <laughs> um, flip this back over. And I'm going to measure the drill build. So again, this is a 40 by 55 centimeter. So let's see if this is true to size. So right here is the drill field. And this is 55. By 40 so it's definitely true by size so everyone I am going to go ahead and close the video I hope you enjoyed it if you like the video please give it that thumbs up I'd greatly appreciate it if you didn't like the video totally understand but if you can let me know what you didn't like about the video down in the comments below I would greatly appreciate that also if you're new to the channel a big howdy and welcome if you like what you see and you like what you heard please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. Also, don't forget to hit the bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. That way, you'll be indicated when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, by saying that, if it's morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If this is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if this is evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae, and thank you for spending some time with me tonight on the review. We'll talk again real soon. Bye, guys.